Welcome back everybody, Chuck here with American Travel Fun. We just recently got some brand new information about Universal's Orlando Epic Universe pertaining to the Dark Universe section of the park. If you love classic Universal monsters like Dracula or Frankenstein, then you're gonna love this new world. So what's the deal with Dark Universe, you're asking? Well, here's where you can step into a world where Universal's old school monsters come to life in a brand new way, like you've never seen before. Universal is the pioneer of the horror genre and is now bringing these legendary creatures into the modern day into their theme park. Dark Universe is one of five immersive worlds that you'll find at the brand new Universal Epic Universe opening in 2025. Created by the award-winning Universal Creative Team in partnership with Universal Pictures, Dark Universe isn't just about the rides. It's a complete experience where you walk in and you can talk to the creatures, you can see the creatures, you walk through the lands, Basically, think of a Harry Potter slash, I say Star Wars from Disney. Something on the line of those two worlds or lands. Also, you could think of it as the darker cousin of Disney's Fantasyland with spookier twists that only Universal could actually pull off. Because Disney is not necessarily R-rated, although they do have that Deadpool movie coming out. That could change everything in the near future. There is rumors of a fifth park, who knows. Anyway, moving on, that's for another day. Your journey begins as soon as you step through the electrifying portal in Darkmoor, the village within Dark Universe. Dark energy is pulsating throughout the village, culminating at the Tower of Frankenstein Manor. It's like walking to a classic horror film, but only this time you're the star. The first attraction we have up is Monsters Unchained, the Frankenstein Experiment. This is Universal Orlando's most terrifying attraction yet, so they claim and we'll have to find out in 2025, of course. Here you venture into the catacombs of Frankenstein Manor, where the Victoria Frankenstein experiments go crazy they just they go wrong and here she ends up unleashing a horde of monsters and you ride through the darkness trying to evade dracula the wolfman and many more creatures it's like the haunted mansion on steroids the haunted mansion that would be more scary versus funny and for those with families with you know little ones and that or just don't want to be scared every two seconds there's curse of the werewolf and it sounds scarier than it actually is this is just a, a spinning family coaster that takes you deep into the woods on the edge of darkmoor here you race to escape werewolves before becoming one yourself it's perfect for kids and adults who want a good thrill without having too much of a scare and if you ever want to look like one of your favorite monsters well you're in luck at darkmoor monster makeup experience you can here you can get your face painted or get some temporary tattoos and be transformed into your favorite monster whether it be dracula or the visible man whoever but I'd like to know how they're going to do the Invisible Man. I, I, I don't understand that. I mean, if I go in and I say I want to be the Invisible Man, what are they going to do? Please, if anybody has any idea, let me know down in the comments below. Because I've been pondering this since I read this a week ago. And I cannot figure it out. Please. Because I really like the Invisible Man. I like to give him a challenge. And of course, you'll also have a chance to meet the iconic monsters like Frankenstein, the Bride of Frankenstein, and the Invisible Man. Once again, the Invisible Man you get to meet. Do you get to shake his hand? It is like a no touch thing, right? Like you're not allowed to touch the characters. Maybe that's how they get around it. And of course, you're gonna to need to eat and do some shopping while you're there. You could go to Das Steakhouse. Here you'll dine in a hall ran by vampire familiars. The menu as of now includes kebabs, burgers, and sandwiches. To what extent, to what type or what kind, we don't know. Uh, right now, Universal's being very vague on everything. So I'm giving you absolutely all the information that I have. This is. They, they don't give us any details. They just give us little tidbits. Or you could possibly check out the Burning Blade Tavern. This is an old mill transformed into a hangout for monster hunters. Here you can enjoy wings bratwurst while surrounded by monster heads on the wall as trophies. For a quick bite, you can head over to DeLacy's Cottage near Frankenstein Manor for snacks like cinnamon bread and ice cream. And if you're like me, you have to get a hat or at least a t-shirt while you're there because Every trip you go on, you need a souvenir, right? Mine's are hat and t-shirts. Well, me and you can, everybody else can go over to Petronas, Petronas, that's not Harry Potter, Petro. It's on screen, Scientific Oddities. I cannot say that, and there it is. I've been, try again, trying to say that word for a week. So what do you guys think? Are you excited about Dark Universe? I'm more excited about this one than I am, say, the, you know, Dragon Land that we, that I talked about the other day. You know, I am, you know, How to Train Your Dragon Land, and... The Super Mario, I'm not a Nintendo fan, and I've never seen the Dragon movies, so I don't care about those two. But this one, this is old school horror. Everybody's seen these. I love these. I think they're going to be great. That, and I want to see the vampires. I love vampires, and I want to see the Invisible Man. I want to shake his hand. Anyway, 
Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this place. Did you guys want to shake the Invisible Man's hand too? Or do you guys think this is a lame idea, this whole park? Let me know down in the comments. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.